Yeah, sh- you sure that's her? He, are we sure? Y'all are racist, bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure because like, <laughs> that can't possibly. Y'all are racist, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure we don't nah, do racist to nobody else. <laughs> 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 I'm, just, I, I'm gonna Okay, guys. I'm gonna do for that. Don't do that. Don't do us like nah, that, bro. Nah, don't nah, do nah, that. Nah, 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 I'm saying like. I mean, I'm not even. No, I'm sure, bro. This has to be her, bro. Like, let, let's let's be for real, bro. <laughs> that is let, her. Let, let, yeah, come on, guys. Yeah, that's her. She has the bang right here. Yeah, that's, that's her. her. Okay, guys. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> bro, hold on, bro. Don't do that, bro. Look, look guys. <laughs> The clip we're about to watch. It's ironic that we took a picture with this lady at the on the scene. We did, bro. I remember this. Yeah. My, y'all, my feet right here were hurting so bad, but we have been walking and treaching, boy. Oh, man. We got it's some great times at the on the man. That was probably. Yeah, yeah, that was a great time. That was, that was extremely fun. Look at Taj over there. Who he looked like? Bro. He looked like an unlocked character back there. Bro. Man, it, it, that was probably my favorite event I went to in Brandon my life. Look all giddy. Nah, yeah, this was a. Uh, I like this photo though. You know. No, yeah, I remember this. This was waiting to go on Benny Johnson. It's crazy, man. Like I, I didn't know who this lady was, and I was like, oh, I mean, she, she's pretty good on that. Ever since Biden become president, he's the one who uses pen. Reverse the previous President Trump's border policies and enable the 11 million illegals in this country with taxpayers' incentives and funding for factoring cities and cost crime range. You should be responsible. You should not, not even run for Congress because you are part of that regime who caused this problem. Now you offer bigger government solution, more money. You don't need more money. You need to use his pen to reverse. 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds. Again. Wow. That was My fast. opponent is focused on me. I am focused on the voters and on actual solutions that I believe Congress can and must advance. And one of those solutions, Adam, is the bipartisan, comprehensive immigration reform and border security bill no. that would allow us to up to make the, the critically needed updates to our system. This is a worldview that my opponent has embraced. She believes that we should give a break to the wealthiest and the biggest corporations and hope for the best, hope that the results will trickle down to hardworking people. I take a very different approach. I believe that the middle class deserves a tax cut, and I believe that we will do a lot for this country by ensuring that we don't continue this disastrous Ms. tax Goodlander. policy. Ms. Tom Williams. You are wealthy. You are worth $20 million to $30 million. <laughs> How do you know about regular people's suffering? Do you go shopping, go to Walmart, buy food? I talk to those looking? people. And you pretend to be Render in Nashua a few months ago, move back to run for this open seat with millions of dollars from Washington, D.C. insiders. Mm. And the millions, millions of dollars. I don't have money to run a TV ad. And you pretend you are poor, complain rent is so high. You couldn't Ooh. save that apartment for other people to rent in Nashua. Just go back to your two million dollar home in Portsmouth. <laughs> Please don't say that because you do not understand regular people's concerns. People cry in my arms and burn you are worth 20 million. She hot right now. Yeah. Go back to your mansion. Hey Dang. man, I should we should have put some respect on her name when we, we seen should've. her. Lily Tang yeah. Williams. That's yeah. my nigga. No cow. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Lily! Shout out Lily for real. Yeah, she cooked. What district she's running for? She, she told Congress us. 2024. Where? She told us, bro. I really forgot, man. I mean, we it was so much going on at the RNC, guys. It just, Boy, I was like, lot. yeah, hey, man. She was like, let's take a picture. I was like, let's do it, man. I just thought, I didn't know. I didn't know she was like this. Me either. She absolutely grilled her ass. Yeah, she did. It's it's easy to grill them. It's, it's, you just got hit them with straight logic. It's no, just it's facts. <laughs> two plus two. Seems Literally. like the Democrats have the same talking points, bro. Today, they're taking almost half of every dollar earned in the United States. And most people don't realize it because the taxes are hidden in the so-called business taxes. You know, the politician that stands up and yells, oh, let's save the little man, let's tax business, and everybody yells, hooray. But they haven't figured out that every tax on business is just a part of the cost of production. And the customer winds up paying it when he buys the product. It's a hidden sales tax. There's 116 of them in our the suit of clothes that each one of us is wearing. We're going to have to raise corporate taxes, and we're going to have to raise... We're going to have to make sure that the biggest corporations and billionaires pay their fair share. That's just it. It's about paying their fair share. I am not mad at anyone for achieving success, but everyone should 
pay their fair share, and it is not right. You're going to have all the corporations that's going to say everybody's too high to afford to have as a uh, an employee, and it's going to cost so much to you know do production. You tax me, I have to tax you. So everything's just going to go out. And then on top of that, you're telling the corporations that you're going to price gouge them. So you're going to just tell the corporations to just take losses. So I don't see this working out. Oh, I'm tripping. You know, I'm not going to say something, this is what it is, and this is a fact, if I don't know. So, to me, just like, I feel like either way, I feel like it's going to be the same. If we tax the big if we tax the big corporation or if we tax the, you know, the small businesses and the small people. Because I feel like if you tax them, the small businesses, then they feel like they're they're going to feel like, they're going to feel hurt. If, but if we tax the big corporations. We're still going to tax them all. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying though, but if 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 if, if we target one, see, and they're just talking points. They're just talking points. No, I'm saying what I think though. Like, well, I, I think you're supposed to tax people. Like, I think you pay taxes. There's a fair way to pay taxes. I don't know how to do it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and I gotta do it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure somebody, out. Somebody like, knows, but not me. You know. So, uh, however they should do like that, both y'all ways y'all is gonna be like out. it's gonna end up being the same. Cause it, I mean, it, it feel like it always based on the information we're given, but we don't have all the information on that. Like, but I just feel like if you that, pay more like, money for some, you're going to charge for it no yeah, matter what. Know, hey, That's you know, common sense with any. Hey, 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 I know how business. Hey. But also, if Plug I tax get the taxed, man, taxing you, he's going to feel like he's getting overly taxed, and then he's going to feel that feel that too. You see what I'm saying? So both of them, they're going to feel both ways. Because they right, I see push that. But there's a way to tax people in a better way. I think. And what's that way? I guess nobody has figured. Well, under Trump, I think the taxes his. Tax plan did people I well. I mean, yeah, in the economy, yeah, he, cut, good. he so, cut, he cut taxes, and, but and also the government wasn't spending as much because you know that's what caused the inflation, which also raised the taxes. So if you can, you know, do these things, yeah, that's not, not even what the videos. But I just feel like it's so deep that the taxes is so deep because it's like who knows. If Democrats have been doing the same thing that they're doing now for well, well I know, years, I, it just seems like they people, keeping Donald Trump. Tax I know there's a lot of right like now. upper middle class people tend to vote Republican, and that's not like the high like rich rich. That's just like middle class people who are you know they're doing pretty yeah. good. I yeah, feel I mean, like typically they vote Republican. Typically, not not taking race out of it. Yeah, based off my knowledge, I mean, I lived under Trump. I lived under Biden. I mean, we seen what happened. You know, both sides have different. You know, I guess talking points and things they want to do with taxes and stuff like that where the money should go i just know the economy was better off trump that's feel like that's all i should go off of because i mean i can't I can't get too deep into it because i feel like both of them is like oh if you tax a little man he's gonna hurt if you tax the big man he's gonna hurt then that's gonna hurt the little man the little man if you tax the little man he gonna you feel know hurt. what i feel it's, like it's, it's gonna feel, I, I feel, feel like it's the same crazy. way i feel like it's the same thing i feel like they're gonna find a way to like get around the tax code because that's what a lot of rich rich wealthy wealthy people doing anyway they find a way to get around it anyway so i don't know man the tax one taxes is one of them is just like you know i ain't gonna act like no I need to see that, me either, that yeah. ain't just no. I mean, maybe it is common sense. It's not but my. That's not my level of. Uh, yeah, I, maybe it hasn't. You know, um, we 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 keep it a hundred. We we you know. I we feel like if taxes go up. Somebody explain that shit to us. In the yeah. Comments. Either way, we watched the Prager U video. When we watched the Prager U video, yeah, about that, the taxes, I don't want it to be done like that. Yeah, that's a problem. See, but they got to get paid they somehow. Just, they just want the super tax. You know, the big we need roads and we need these things, so we. That's need a problem. Taxes. We cannot disagree with. But how do you do it? I don't know. Yeah, we can disagree with overtaxing the big corporations. That won't work. I think we can all agree to that. And taxing, you know, people that I mean, entrepreneurs, we can't all necessarily agree to that. Well, I mean, taxing entrepreneurs more than you would tax. No, no, no. But saying or uh, like taxing like the big corporations won't work because in theory it sounds like it would work. It does sound like it would work, and so, they, they, maybe they've done it. I've done I don't know. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know. We're not experts. But if you <laughs> tax them, wouldn't product cost more? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But then if For you sure. don't, well, the other people got to pay them, and then they're gonna feel inflation. But if you tax, if if, if, they're, if you tax how they say tax, Trump is taxing, then they're gonna feel like. Well, I feel like in they're my personal hurt. opinion, I don't, I don't if, know, if 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 I okay, know, y'all might say I'm tripping, but <laughs> if it's <laughs> if, if, if the consumer had to pay for it, at least like consumer products will be cheaper, so it's like a fo- more affordable to yeah, buy. Yeah, but if you are turning around and paying forty uh, percent, but it's taxes. already it's already cut half already though. So it's just like if the if the yeah, I don't you know, know we don't we don't, we don't know, know you none of us know. Yeah, but really we just know if really the know. money go up. If they pay Mo, we we gonna pay Mo. So how do you avoid that? that? What's the other option? That's what we don't know. You see? Yeah. That's what we're trying to figure out. That is the question. If we can't do that, so then what do we do? That's what I would like to do. Go off the economy. What do you mean? Go off Trump's economy. Oh, you what economy well, did you like? I got better? a question. That's what I think. No, no, no. We're not saying that. We're saying oh. other, other if, tax if, the, if, if, if the taxes get shorter, wouldn't the government have to find other ways Leave to provide? It? 
uh, income to the government, like sell energy. But all we can do is all we can do is get more knowledgeable and leave it up to the government that has the best economy. That's yes, what I'm saying. Okay, press play. Yeah, that's why I, I don't know. Because I mean, that. they're they're talking point. I mean, it does sound good. But then it's like we technically don't know what's yeah, best. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I, I think you just go off for you. When did you pay the least amount? Hey, when Listen, did you have more bread? When did you have the less bread? Is, and I, we, I think a lot of us know yes. that one person you know did better that than the other. I got, I got, so I therefore, got, that's probably the person. That I got I would something we could go off. Of. We, we could go off of um, California. You see, taxes is extremely high there as well, but the prices are still everything high. high. Everything, yeah. So that didn't work over there. So if we go off of states, and Greg, Greg, Greg Appet is doing pretty good in Texas. Yeah, people are pretty people, happy. You know, you know people get houses, Texas. and you know they get nice things. I mean, out that, here. that might be, yeah. Hey, yeah, go off the states. I mean, yeah. Hey, that, that, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That does, yeah. First Democrats saying, hey, though, we need a secure border. We, you know, it's a significant issue. And if I thought there was any kinds of issues, and I've been very vigilant throughout, I've been actively involved in those kinds of things, and I've never witnessed those kinds of a thing. But what do you and- mean by issues? Like what kind of issues are you talking about? You're talking about people letting people in in order to get votes? Uh, well, I, I, it's not. There's not that level of kinds. I don't think there's that level of kinds of organization. Uh, but there or, is an organization that's moving these people to swing states. Well, there's a significant number of these people that are illegal immigrants that have made their way to swing states, and then there's been calls for amnesty. There's been calls for allowing these people to have a pathway to citizenship and allow them to vote. The fear that a lot of people have is that this is a coordinated effort to take these people that you're allowing to come into the country, then you're providing them with all sorts of services like food stamps and housing and setting them up well, you, and you, then you, providing a pathway to amnesty. And then you would have voters that would be significantly voting towards the Democrats because they're the people that enabled them to come into the country in the first place wow. first place, and provided them with those services. This is a big fear that people have and that you're rigging this system and that this will turn all these states into essentially locked blue like California is. Well, I, I you know, I, it's well, uh, uh, immigration is always going to be a, a, a tough issue in our nation. You know, I, I had uh, as a professor uh, in grad school, uh, Alan Simpson, Alan Simpson, and he uh, was uh, he was a United States senator. He was Wyoming, uh, and he was he was uh, he was actually a pro cho- uh, choice Republican. I mean, how rare that would be. Well, it doesn't exist now. And he said, "You are never going to have any meaningful immigration kinds of." legislation he's like because both side uh, that's useful for them and it's going to be back and forth back and forth and he said that 25 years ago useful meaning the debate having it always uh, some yeah, a yeah, political it, it's, it's talking useful point. for one side or the other it's, right. it's useful and he 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 said i there were never going to be and he said that in 1999 mm-hmm. and i was i w- i voted for for the border deal and that and that went down wow. and and that's i mean he said that 25 years ago and that was absolutely true now that 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 they had an opportunity to do a comprehensive border uh, bipartisan and that went down because uh, Trump um, he he declared that that that's that's a bad deal after it was negotiated with with the other side but what didn't that deal also involve amnesty and didn't that deal also involve a significant did, number yeah. of illegal yeah. aliens being allowed into the country every year I think it was two million people uh, well, so yeah. it's still the same sort of situation, and their fear is exactly what I talked about, that these people will be moved to swing states, and that that will be used to essentially rig those states and turn them blue forever. Uh, well, I, I, I'm, not, wow. I'm not really sure if that's, that's uh, what, 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 what's, what's in play. I, I think it's really like it's important that we have to have an, an honest conversation. But about doesn't that seem logical, though? If you have a significant number of people that are being moved into swing states that have come across the border illegally, and then you've provided them with all these services. Water, you provided them with food stamps, house. EBT. You've provided them with housing. You could, if you gave those people amnesty and allowed those people to vote, and it was very organized... You're talking about 75,000 votes over a few counties that switched everything over to the Republicans. You could see how you import 10 million people over the course of four years. 
illegally and then move a significant number of them to swing states and then provide them with all these services and then give them a path to citizenship, you could uh, essentially rig those states. Uh, undeniably, immigration is changing our nation. I mean, I haven't spent a lot of time in Texas, but it's very clear that that immigration has has remade Texas. And I think it's it generally it's it's for for a good thing. I don't got that much to say about this. That was perfectly articulated at a very high level. Joe. The way he broke that down wasn't too much. Wasn't he, like he a had politician. nothing to say. He had, he couldn't reply to that. He was just kind of giving the Kamala type answers. I want to say what I want to hey, say. You know what? Though. I respect him for going in this space, though. Well, Joe Rogan isn't. He's in the middle. Yeah, I know. But you know Joe Rogan going to ask some questions, though. And he's, That's why it's fair. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said I'm proud of him for going. Shit, don't give him no damn pat on the ass. Hey, man, they need a pat on the ass. How they act. You they don't Joe go do Rogan. nothing, bro. Cause just because of this right here, he just got absolutely demolished. That is true, though. That's why they don't do it. I, I respect know. him for doing it, man. And he got a collar shirt on today, man. Yeah, he's got a hoodie <laughs> on. You know what? It's just hard to people just to look at common sense. And I don't see how people cannot see that. Yeah, I just don't understand it. Two plus two plus two, I feel like. I mean, it adds up. Uh, That's why it's sad to say this. They're going to replace people, man. They're trying to replace people, if I feel like. If they're trying you know to what's, gain... A, what's a, that man, theory they talk about? That they don't will, say that. No, 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 you I, can't. You can't talk about that. A replacement what? theory. Yeah. What's wrong with that? That's, That's literally what he's talking that about. Road, though. It's not nothing about. I guess it's not. Uh, yeah. You talking about a replacement theory? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they say the Republicans are pushing that. Is there a right way to talk? People are. Yeah. The replacement theory. No, wait. That has uh, no. to be the Democrats replacing yeah. doing that. The replacement yeah, theory. That's what they say. Oh, and they're saying that we believe that yeah, it's, it's a replacement thing. theory, yeah. but they're actually kind of. Nah, nah I don't think they're trying. They're trying to say they were supposed to replace white people and make the. I, don't think, I think it's what black. Joe Rogan said. They trying but, to get votes. But they trying I was to get saying blue states. they was trying to replace the poor people that's already placed in them communities already. That's what I was trying to elaborate to. Well, they just gonna capitalize on hey the niggas that woke up, y'all. Bring some more. Tell me, <laughs> they gonna make babies. Hey, y'all said uh, the the black vote is uh, lowest ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, it makes, it hey, makes sense, guys. Hey. I mean, hey, this was crazy, man. Joe, he grilled him. Y'all can't tell me Joe not turning. Hey, hey, Joe, Joe is voting for Trump. He ain't only in the middle. No Joe is voting for Trump. <laughs> Let us know what y'all think.